for today and I thought I'd do a little short upload today because I haven't really been doing anything um, with the job that I'm mainly working at at the moment I really haven't been doing that much <laughs> I've got about 15 hours driving time in total since I went back after my week off and so I'm not really doing that much. I'm going to sites and waiting around and so on and so forth. So, hmm, don't really have too much to do. Or, that's kind of wrong, I suppose. I do have things to do, but not really YouTube-based. So it's a bit, hmm. But anyway, I've been here, there and everywhere, working away. The Terracoon is running pretty much spot on there's a belt to change yet uh, it's a secondary auxiliary one the way it's, it's the um, steering pump belt because it had a new alternator and a new belt there they did a timing belt but for some bizarre reason they didn't change the steering pump belt and it's got cracks in it so I'll, I'll be doing that next week although I've got a couple of friends who said they'll do it for some beer tokens so I'll take it down to their garage give them a couple of beer tokens and everyone's happy saves me a job um, but yes, it's, what is it now, it's quarter past five in the afternoon and I'm having my first beverage and it got me thinking about something because as you guys know I do actually want to do something with the channel with, with cars involved and my mates, not so much an educational thing, more an entertainment thing, purely entertainment. You know, cocking about, buggering about, you know, all that kind of kind, kind of stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll get my words out one day. Um, and I started thinking about it, because obviously we're going to be on private property when we're buggering about, you know, working on cars. These are going to be cars that can't go on the road, you know, they, they won't be starting, they, they might be starting, but they won't have an MOT. We'll be buggering about with them to get them through an MOT to do something else with them. A bit like the cheap heap, although that does have an MOT till September, it, it won't pass it. <laughs> um, and it got me thinking, because obviously private property, no way of being able to drive it on the road. If we're buggering about hot day, spring, summer, whenever, it'll most likely be summer before we get going. Have a couple of brewskis whilst we're working under the bonnet. Why not? And it got me thinking about that, the legislation in the UK. Because there's drunk in charge. And you've got to be really careful. Because obviously I'm a HGV driver. I have no intention of ever drink driving. I do not believe in it. You, you just don't. Okay, just hire a taxi. Use a bus. Walk. You know, I'm getting a bit big. I should walk to the pub. Um, it's healthy. Um, but... You get drunk in charge. Now obviously, if the vehicle is on public land, a uh, public car park or parked on the roadside or something like that, um, yeah, you can't have keys and a drink. You can't have keys to the vehicle and, and a drink. And sleeping in a car, for example, whilst under the influence, you, you will be nicked for it. You'll have to prove to the CPS, uh, Crime Prosecution Service, or Crown Prosecution Service, idiot. Um, you will have to prove to the CPS that you had no intention of driving. You know, like, let's say you've gone around a mate, had a couple of swallies, there's no room, so you slept in the back of your car. Because mm. you're going to get into a lot of hot water and you can get done. Um, there's various various um, Cases where people have gone to a pub on a bike, had a few swellies, a motorbike, had a few swellies, thought, ooh, shouldn't have done that. And then they've wheeled the bike home, you know, not ridden it or anything like that, just wheeled it home and got nicked. And the result has been a driving ban because they had keys, they had the bike, they could easily have ridden it any t at any time. And it, it got me thinking about, well, we're on private land with a car that cannot go on the road. Either no MOT or it's just not running. <laughs> you know, wheels dropped off, suspension dropped out, that kind of thing. Can we get done? And I was Googling it. 
because I was bored. And I felt, there's no definitive answer. And I was, I was having a look at how things are, you know, is there a definitive answer to um, drunk in charge? Is, is there a, a bar that can be used? And there isn't. Now, of course, a lot of people will say, oh, you're on private property, you're fine. I mean, the wheels are dropped off. <laughs> the, the entire car cannot be driven. You will be fine, don't worry. But the issue is that even on private property, you can be done for drunk in charge because there is a potential to drive the car on a public highway. Now, there's probably going to be some Americans or Canadians or people like that watching me. And as far as I'm aware, laws like that, laws... If that respect, if you're on private property, that's it, you're on private property, you're done. Again, it will vary from state to state in the, in the United States, I'm sure. But there's going to be a few people who watch me who probably be like, are you serious? And yeah, deadly serious. Deadly serious. Because it's more, um, they're assuming certain things about what you're going to do. You know, they're, they're assuming that because you have keys, you're going to drive on the road. Now, obviously, cases of this nature, if you can prove beyond shadow of reasonable doubt there was no way you were going to drive on the road, you're fine. And this has been law for quite a long time. I think it's since 1988. You're drunk in charge. In, in some way, shape or form, the, the law has existed since uh, 1988, I think. Um... <clears throat> And it's, it's a bit of a conundrum. Because obviously what I do for a living, you, you never see me drinking one of these holding car keys in my hand. Yes, there may be car keys in a tray next to me somewhere, but I'm in my own home. I'm not going back out again. I, I can prove that. But it's one of those moments of you've got a couple of mates doing a few bits. It's a hot day. Beer fridge opens up. Oh, look, beer in it. Lovely, lovely. It's entertainment. It, it's... Pratting about, you know, chances are on these days, whether we're at mine or a friend's house or somewhere like that, there's going to be a barbecue and we're going to do things around that. So we're going to be making footage, creating content whilst at a barbecue, waiting for things to cook or that kind of stuff. But it is something I'm very curious about and concerned about. Now, obviously... The obvious one here is, well, just don't drink anything. You know, solves the problem, didn't it? But then we've got to organise getting together to work on vehicles for, you know, creating YouTube content. Along with anything else that we want to get done. So like I said, a, a barbecue, a, a bit of a party, maybe a celebration of some description, that kind of thing. So it's going to be around, do you see where I'm coming from now? It, it, it's not going to be straight out just primarily to work on the car. It's going to be working on the car in a kind of fun, entertaining, prattish manner. Um, and then obviously once we've done like a couple of hours of that, carry on with a barbecue whatever and whilst I was looking on Google I came across a website now I'm going to be posting various questions on there I haven't as yet because I've only just come across it and thought you know what sod it I'll make some content let you know about the website I found that's really all I had planned hmm, odd for me I know but it's the uh, policecommunity.co.uk and this is a forum for the police but it's open to everyone and it is uh, it's um, group.policecommunity.co.uk I don't know what the exact thing is well yeah that's, that's all it is group.policecommunity one word dot co dot uk there you go and it's got various bits and bobs on there the UK PO, UK Police Online, um, Police UK, Police UK Forum, Visit the Forum, all that kind of stuff. And it's 100% free to use and available to everyone. So if you've got any questions or things like that, you can create a forum 
a thread, if you like, I should say, not a forum, a thread. I'm not exactly technologically advanced. I mean, come on, give me a break. And ask you questions. And it's... I'm so glad I found it. Because now, if I've got any... You know, if I'm curious about something, because at the end of the day, not only do I have my HGV license and I've got to worry about you know, keeping that, it's my bread and butter, but I have a shotgun certificate. And if I breach the law of the UK, I can have that removed. So it's... It's one of those kind of things where you might sometimes think I'm being a little bit too... What's the right term to use here? Uh, a little bit too pedantic about being law-abiding, I suppose, with certain things that I do, or I, I say, online. But there are reasons for it, because I do have a shotgun certificate, and in the UK, gun legislation is exceptionally tight. Whether you believe that or not, it's true. Um, for example, if I get done for speeding, you know, go through a camera downhill, I thought it was a 40, it turned into a 30, I hadn't noticed signs for whatever reason at night, raining, yada yada yada. I get done for speeding, three points of fine, and I get a nice little letter come through from firearms department, police department. And they informed me that this is my warning. If I get caught again, bye-bye gun license. That is actually true. I've never had points on my driving license, so I've never experienced it, but I've read enough on uh, BASC, British Association for Shooting and Conservation websites and forums. Um, had friends, farming friends and that, and they've had letters, not exactly worded the way I did, but letters giving them a warning. And if what you've done is, you know, drink driving and all that kind of stuff, you will potentially, there's a 90% chance, you will lose your license, gun license as well. And so I have to be very careful. And it, it, it's certain things that, that bug me slightly. Now, road safety I take seriously. I mean, you, you've watched various uploads I've done before. I always slow down. I give myself plenty of room. And I, I, I try to explain why I'm doing things every so often. So on and so forth. But road safety I do take very seriously. And I understand that laws need to be there to protect the general public from morons. But you're always going to get morons who don't care about the law. So on and so forth. But there is that... And this is going to sound so generic, I know, and I'm so sorry for this. But there is that element of freedom. And I don't mean drink driving on the road or anything like that, but I do mean you've got a classic car or a vehicle that you're restoring, customising, whatever. Whether you're doing it with your friends or whether you're doing it with your son or your daughter or something like that. It's a hot day, you're on private property, obviously you've got the keys to it, for obvious reason. And you're working on it. And you get Calabruskis out. Do you see what I mean? There's no way you're driving that car on the road. Yes, okay, you can prove you're not driving on the road. But if you record it and upload it to YouTube, you're drunk, keys, maybe you've got to the point, you know, you're doing this and doing that, and you want to test to make sure that the engine will run because you've changed that component part that you think was stopping it from running. So you start it up. You know, okay, it doesn't have an MOT, it doesn't have insurance, whatever. But there is a potential, there is a potential, that you could run it up and down your road just to see. And it's that kind of, well, hold on a minute, your chances are you're not going to be running up and down the road. You've got no MOT on it, you've got no insurance on it, you're not stupid. It's private property, maybe you've blocked it in with another car you don't have keys to, they're in the house somewhere, whatever. It's a hot day, you're having a beer. And so obviously I will be using the police online forum to ask that question in due course and find out the answer. And I'll most likely do that today. And then my next upload will probably be me telling you the answer that I got or the plethora of abuse 
I received from certain from certain people saying, "Well, you just shouldn't bloody do it." But again, if you don't do anything, are you actually alive? You're working on a car for a bit of fun, creating content for YouTube with your mates or your kids, whatever. It's a hot day. You're not going to be driving the car. You can't be driven. You've got keys in your hand with a bit. And th these are the little nuances that really bug me because a lot of people think, oh, well, on private property, you can do whatever you want. Don't worry about it. No, because I'm on private property. Yeah. So can I get my shotgun out and fire into the floor? No. Why? Because my private property isn't actually big enough to shoot that uh, to shoot a shotgun on. To use a shotgun on. It's got to be, I think it's four acres. You've got to have four acres or more. And all back onto uh, farming land, country land that you have permission to shoot over. Things like that. But I think it's around four acres if memory serves. So don't always just think, oh well it's private property, you can do whatever you want on private property, because you can't. You really can't. Where my dad lives, there's a snotty neighbour that moved in next to him years ago. And he's a real piece of work. A proper piece of work. And an air rifle in the UK, not licensed. It's an air rifle, it's a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, we're going back a few years anyway. Uh, my dad's got a... 120 foot garden? Yeah, about 120 foot garden. And fence at the back, and we put some old bits of wood up. Uh, I think there was an old pallet that he'd had from when he was doing some garden work. And I put some bottles down, and myself and my friend Sean were using this air rifle firing down to the bot, to a bottle full of water. Obviously, there was backstops, but we were firing down. And it's an air rifle. Oh, he's over that fence. Oh, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to get you done. You're not legally allowed to do that. Blah, 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 blah. The result was, I said, call the police. Let's have a conversation. And the police turned around and said to me, you're not allowed to shoot in this garden because your next door neighbour doesn't like it. It's an air rifle that realistically would just annoy you <laughs> if you got shot by it because it really had no oomph to it whatsoever it was a real cheap nasty thing <laughs> and we're firing at bottles you know plastic bottles filled with water into the ground and the police well cease and desist basically stop doing it there was no caution or anything like that it was just don't carry on So just because you're on private property, don't think you can just do something. So I'm going to be on that forum later on today, asking the question and see what kind of response I get. Most likely a lecture or a few lectures by certain constables who are traffic officers who've been to the scenes of alcohol related accidents, road traffic accidents, things like that. I mean, I'm a class one truck driver. I've been first on the scene of accidents before now and I've been at least 10 minutes ahead of the emergency services. So yes, I have seen them as well, and I will make that point when I ask the question. But outside of those, I'm going to look to see what they say. Because I think it's quite an interesting question to ask. I don't know about you guys, but that's why I'm making this content, so that I can do some follow-up content next week with the responses I've got, if any. Should have a few. But there you go, I thought that's what I'd do, seeing as I've got nothing else to do. But anyway, there you go. Nice and short one today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share about, do whatever it is you usually do. I'll see you in the next one, which should be next week, with the results of this conundrum I have. Um, yes, anyway, catch you later. Cheers, guys.